Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a brief introduction of differential equations. And to kind of set it up, I thought we'd do some pretty basic thinking, but it'll be different than you would expect. So, solve. 2x plus 3y equals 6. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you figure it out. It seems pretty straightforward. It's like a trick question or a joke or what do you think it is? Well, many typical answers from people are they just solve for y and say y is equal to 6 minus 2x over 3. But this is an algebraic equation. Solving implies finding solutions, and this is not a solution. So, well, what is a solution? Uh, you could say the ordered pair 3, 0 uh, is a solution since, and you plug in 3 for x and 0 for y, which would be 2 times 3 plus 3 times 0 equals 6 but that's just one solution. Um, and it's a arithmetic equation. Now this is kind of cool if you notice what we did here is that we went from an algebraic equation up above from where they're given information and we converted it into an arithmetic equation to find the solution. Pay attention to that. Um, now you may be wondering, well where's the differential equations? Well first we need to understand a little bit of the algebraic expressions to better uh, translate into differential equations and make a more seamless transition. Yeah, here's something else uh, thought we could talk about. What, 3x equals 6, is that true or false? You're like, what? What? Yeah, well, what? What? None of that. What? Well, that's an algebraic equation. Um, so, what you need to know about algebraic equations before we get into differential equations is that algebraic equations do not have truth to them. They are neither true nor false. Um, let's try another one. How about 3 times 4 equals 6? True or false? Hopefully you don't have to take too long on that one. That's false. Um, obviously you get 12 is equal to 6 and that is not a true statement. Um, this is an arithmetic equation. And arithmetic equations do have truth to them, so they could be true or false, which kind of is what we touched on in the purple here over to the right. Now, um, let's see. Let's go back here. Let's actually solve this example. So, to get all the solutions, the set of solutions to this problem, 2x plus 3y equals 6, is the following. And you may be confused, like, oh, but that's it, or I just had to write uh, the equation again, but with just a different ordered pair. Like, what, what? How, how does that explain all solutions? Well, it's pretty easy. I mean, that's it, you know? Uh, this You would say, you would read this um, in the black box here, you would read it as follows. The set, which is the brackets, of ordered pairs A and B, such that, which is that line, vertical line, 2A minus 3B equals 6. So, um, that explains all the solutions um, to that system of that one linear equation, which is an algebraic equation. Okay, um, now we'll jump into what is a differential equation. Um, so that kind of just was a nice warm-up to get you thinking, like, answers might um, not be what you initially seem, or you just go straight for the plug and chug, but really think about it. you got to find all the solutions, um, etc., so, what is a differential equation? Well, a uh, basic answer, since we aren't really too far into it, we'll just give a simple one here. And it's an equation together with the convention that the solutions are functions. Now, notice previously in the algebraic equations that solutions were numbers, right? So here's, there's the key difference. Um, so let's look at an example. So we have d dt of x is equal to 2t is given. Um, now, what would be the solution to this system, or to this differential equation? Well, uh, t squared um, could be a solution since um, dt of t squared would give 2t, but that's not the only solution. So you can also think using, you know, your knowledge of calculus and antiderivatives and different and derivatives, that t squared plus 3 could also be a solution. Think about it. Take the derivative, you get 2t and the derivative of a constant is zero. Now that should also get you a little thinking as more as well. But let's describe the set of all solutions. Um, we're going to write it in two ways. 
um, just like we did over here in the black box. So we'll start with that. So the set of solutions to the differential equation can be written um, to this differential equation is, and it can be written as this. So f, any function, well, that's why I called it f, so the derivative of any function, um, the arbitrary function such that d dt of f is equal to 2t. Uh, that can also be written as the set, and then you just put uh, the antiderivative there, t squared plus c. Um, and make sure you specify that c is all real numbers. Uh, so that would be the, um, the answer to this differential equation. Um, notice how this is a function, and these are numbers. Um, so that's the key difference between algebraic and differential equations. Um, and this is a first order equation as a side note, and we may get into that later in future videos. But I thought this would be an excellent way to kind of introduce the topic of differential equations. Hope it helped.